Janelle Gray. Yeah. Wow, we got a little weekend project here, haven't we? Yeah. So, the hydraulic catch on this dumper is in better days. Try to get some lights here. You can see that's a bit a pulled apart of here. It's cracked up at the top. Pulled a good two inches out. So we're gonna push this back, weld it up, and brace it up. Hopefully, aren't we? Try. Try. No, we're not just try. We're doing it. Ah, let's start with some fashion. There we are. Actually, 10 minutes later, our special body. <laughs> what, what kind of tool is that? We call it a tool. A tool. That's a body, a body repair, hyd hydraulic, uh, dodgy, dodgy. Uh, mock up, yeah, doesn't matter because it works. So, yeah, um, we saw it before it was twisted kind of out, and I uh, it made me thinking because that ram pushed out the fix here, so it should twist it this way. Uh, uh, and I know exactly what's happened here, so. We use these dumpers for dredging and carrying sloppy uh, seals. And when you tip it in a pile, it likes to run. So what people or dumper drivers do, they tip it almost right up before they opening the tailgate. So it shoots out on the bag down on the tip. So it can gain a bit more room. Which is works, fair enough, yeah, but that's the result of it. Because all that weight on the skip, all the weight on the skip, the seal in it, it's pushing against that door, and that's why it's bent this way out. Anyway, we, we, we got it back to the place it's supposed to be. It's quite straight considering it looks alright. So we're gonna weld this up now, we're cleaning out, weld it up, and uh, do some bracing on it because obviously that's a it's only a four mil thick plate here it's not no bracing on it or anything like it so yeah we're gonna do that and then we'll see where we get with it and that's where mr youngster there on the phone gonna learn some welding we got this all welded up Not the best ones on the planet, but they will do. They're strong enough. Ah, I'm talking to that. Um, and we actually find the bracing inside. Right there. That massive lump here. That, that one here. And it's, uh, it did break off as well from the outside skin. From, from that skin. So we weld that back up as well, it's all nice and straight. And um, we stir up and find the loose balls on the um, on the roller, bottom roller there. So tie that up, I greased everything up here. And she is ready to go. And now that uh, we're done with this. Should I grind off the bit for the ears? No, I just put it on the table. The oh. The whole, t the whole table is earth. Then yeah. that's it, done. Just wondered if it'd be better. That's it, perfect. Well, you Good should have done, done all. You should have done all the way more. Mm. All the way. That's all right. You got the grinder. Clean up, clean up a bit more. And then we start welding this. A bit of a practice weld here. All right. Yeah, do a bit more now. Just clean up a bit more. Trust me. Alright, 
we'll see how this one goes. Right. All geared up. PPA on. Well, we've got quite a few good ones. So he started this side. So that was the first. After a few adjustments and discussion, there was a second. And uh, third, fourth, we got off the rail here a bit. And then this one is all right. I mean, it's all all right. It's all strong enough. They all both melted together. It's all about prettiness from here. And uh, here, he actually did a quite nice one. No, let me see that. That was yeah. on the up right That's actually quite nice. This one, well, we put it in the Ys. Where to go like that? And that's when things are went sideways a bit, just to make it a bit more difficult. And then it was more practice here. And then um, I said to him, we're gonna do an overlap weld. So, it so he's overlapped, yeah. So we do a strip here and then do a strip here and then here. Um, so these are mine actually, that, that one and that one are mine. Um, just to show him how to overlap. And uh, <laughs> bless him, he started overlapping like that. Um, so yeah, now these ones go, Alex. Very. This one's not the way. Anyway, um, he's about to start to do some overlapping. And then, uh, just to make things tricky, here, I got a piece of washer, so it's thinner and different material. And I did a, a little bit here for him, just to tell him that it wants to be flesh, he's don't want to come higher, melt together, etc, etc. And he had a quite, good ones here the first ones and then the rest is just um, yeah didn't go the way we planned it but you're going the right direction it's all about practice I'm not aware there I'm I look like I'm not what I'm talking about but it's all just my personal experience really yeah that's all yeah all right let's finish that off this bit here and probably can tidy this up yeah. and uh, do some overlap on this nice pretty well here because yeah. I like this, the, the edge is actually is nice and, nice and 45 degrees overlaps are pretty nice, it's nice and flat and the edges are actually quite straight so that bit here, I must say, these are perfect Let's practice a bit more. We got the damper done, by the way. It's all welded up, and uh, I put a little of paint on it, drying off nicely. So yeah, that's it.